Welcome to my gal the zombie FX. Thanks so much for stopping by. My look today is from one of my favorite comics, Rat Queens. Though the original artist of this series, Rock Up Church, is no longer on my buy list, I still love the issues I already own. While I do wish Tess Fowler had been kept, I'm still looking forward to the return of this series by Curtis J. Weep with new artist Owen Gini in March after a year-long hiatus. Let me tell you a little bit about these badass bitches. So first, there's pint-sized pickpocket Betty. She's adorable. This halfling loves women, drugs, candy, drugs, friends, drugs, stabbing things, and drugs. Lots of drugs. She's hilarious, tender, and fierce. Next up is Violet, the defiant dwarf warrior. She rebels against her family's traditions and prefers to spend her time kicking ass, taking names, and screwing her orc boyfriend, Dave. Then there's Dee, the nonconformist necromancer. Her mind is often focused on her struggle with faith, from believing in a squid god and drinking blood with her family, to helping take out beasties with her besties. Her life is always, eh, interesting. And last but not least, the character I'll be doing today, the Mad Mage, Hannah. This rockabilly elf sorceress is amazing. A lifetime of tragedy and never fitting in has shaped her personality, making her sharp and bold, if somewhat short-sighted at times. She's a great character, and I hope I did her justice. So here's a look at the finished product. We're red. Kick ass now. It started out with the Urban Decay B6 spray and went on to the Ben Nye Ivory Foundation. Sorry, I know that was hard to see. Put a little Ben Nye finishing powder on top of the foundation. And then I started using Mayron Aquacolor Paradise in white. And I used this to outline everything. And I don't know if you've heard me say it before, but I always outline everything in white just because it makes it easier to wipe off if you make a mistake. And using the same product in Mayron, just in red. And this is the Fab Paints from the Cirque de Chine palette from Silly Farms, and I'm using the yellow. And then I went over the yellow with gold powder from Mayron as well, the gold metallic powder. And you will see me chewing on my tongue incessantly. This is not because I'm on drugs, I promise. It's because I have a habit of chewing on my tongue when I'm concentrating. <laughs> now I'm using a Mayron Pink from a Prisma palette. Moving on to the Mayron Paradise in Black. I really should have outlined these chest markings in white first, but I got confident and cocky and went ahead and did it in black and then had a lot of cleaning up to do eventually. <laughs> I like to outline things in black early for some reason. You can also wait till the end to do all the bold black outlines because a lot of the time I go through and touch up anywho. Now using the Urban Decay Naked 2 mini palette and using the Undone color and using that to start shading and shaping things out. See, it looks like I'm on ecstasy or something, but it's just a habit. I've always done it. You can ask my mom. I'll give you her number. Then just using the same color to go through and put the wrinkles in the jacket. And same color, putting the neck details where they should be according to my reference picture and I did go through and tweak these a bunch as you can see I was putting the shadow in and then kind of putting some more foundation over it and just trying to tone down those shadows so they looked more real and believable and I also took away some of that thick line going sideways to my neck <laughs> Now 
No, I'm not drawing a beard. I am drawing these strong shadows that you usually see in a comic book type drawing. Then going back through with the black over the wrinkles and putting in that depth. Adding my white highlights to the places that would stick out to make it look more 3D, as always, and shiny. Then here I'm just touching up the red where I didn't quite make it to the edges. I used many colors on the face, one of them being the Stark, and that's kind of how I mapped out where I was going to put the bruises and the shading. And then because it's my habit to jump around, I decided to add all the white highlights to the jacket and cover them up in red just to make it pop a little bit more. And then just taking a really tiny brush and adding all those marks that you can see in the reference photo from the comic book. Don't ask me why, but I love these little black lines. And going through and making sure everything's nice and shaded with the shadows. And start working on my eye, adding all the black outline. I really should have blocked out my brows and gave her nice comic book fake ones, but at this point I was tired. <laughs> And just continue to shade the eye with all the colors interchangeably from the Naked 2 palette that I'm holding and also used a little bit of the lithium and granite from the Urban Decay Moon Dust palette. And I started outlining my black eye by just using the brown eyeshadow and putting it in place that way. And I started going in with the darker shadows to give it darker on the outside and light on the inside. Then again, since it's a comic book drawing and I'm kind of a cartoony artist anyway, went ahead and outlined that in black to really make it stand out. Yay, more fun black lines. Then also started to add the darker bruising effect on the area of the cheek that's supposed to be bruised. I was trying to take the time to hit up all those shadows and really make it look like the drawing as much as possible. Her nose is really cute and buttony, so I was doing my best to get that shape with the shadows by contouring and using light on the top to really make it pop and shake. As you can see, the amount of application blend, application blend, application blend that I do is quite intense and um, that's why it takes me a while to do makeups, but it's always worth it. And just continuing to work on the bruising and adding those white highlights to make everything that needs to be raised to look raised.
And just a teensy bit of the Ben Nye cream from one of the bruise wheels I had laying around. And just did up that eye like I was doing my own makeup, except for the actual eyeball part. And I was using the Mayron Paradise again in the Brilliant Azure for the eye color. Adding the little smirk mark. Luckily, I kind of already have one there, so I just went with that. Use the black to go ahead and outline the lips. And just use the same red paint you used for the jacket to fill in the lips. And once again, fill in all the negative space with black because it really sells the illusion. For the arm wrap, I just started out by painting it white and then using the black to make the actual strap things or whatever you would call it <laughs> overlap then just use the same shading method to give it a little depth and realism and I use the red on the other hand because she has a glove on in the other one in this picture then going through and adding all the lines and texture for that glove man I get a lot of use out of this wig but go ahead and throw that on. I had these little bumps already from a past look, so I just used those to wrap my hair around and make the horn. Adding the white onto the lips to make it all comic book reflectory amazingness. And last but not least, adding those fun little dab lines because I already put the ears on and it was such a struggle, I decided not to show you. <laughs> But put the ears on whenever you want. Kick it. And there we have it folks, Hannah in all her glory. Hopefully you've made it to the end and gleaned some tips slash tricks, etc. that are helpful. If so, let me know. If not, let me know. I'd love to know how I'm doing, so don't be shy. If you'd like to see past videos or upcoming ones, please take a minute to share, like, and or subscribe. It would help me out and I'd be super grateful. As this channel grows, I'd love to do contests and live feeds and other fun stuff, so make sure you're a part of it, if you like fun stuff and stuff, that is. You can also check me out at Instagram and Facebook at MyGalTheZombieFX. Thanks so much for watching! If you're into retro horror, make sure to check out my horror host show on YouTube and Facebook at MyGalTheZombie or at MyGalTheZombie.com. Ah, Marcy. You're like... Legit insane girl.